And uh, I normally do my vlog uh, last thing at night, uh, well, a bit after I finish work, but I'm off this week, so um, I'm doing my blog. I'm going to do the blog as the day goes on, uh, and I'll just record bits and bobs here and there, uh, which will be a nice change. Uh, now, I've been off all this week. The uh, reason being off was to, well, <laughs> I plan to take the whole of September off from reviewing. No reviews for September. None. Nada. Zero. Zilch. Uh, zip it. Um, so, I, I've got so much stuff in the box that I thought, I've got to get this stuff out of the way. So, I, I currently have about, well, you can go and, if you go to my web page or my Facebook page and go to the notes section or the review section in either one, you'll see a link to my calendar and it'll show you all the reviews that are coming up. So there's about 12 reviews being done this week. Um, and I'll get another couple done today. And, and fingers crossed that'll be it. Um, I hope. Uh, so there's, there'll be a lot of reviews to come and then it's going to be quiet. Uh, so you'll, be get, you'll get peace and quiet for a while. And hopefully by the time I come back, this fucking red dot that's just stuck under my lip here will disappear. It's just... Why? Uh, I need the makeup department to rush in and powder it. Anyway, um, things I want to shout out first. I'm going to do a couple of shout outs, okay? A uh, guy called Martin Brown. Kudos to Martin Brown. Martin Brown on my forum just said I'm having a clear out and he gave away a shitload of mods, hybrids and stuff like that to people that don't have shit like that. So Martin, you are, you're my star of the week, star of the bloody month, year. Uh, just a, such an awesome thing to do. Um, well impressed, well impressed. Made a lot of people happy. Hell of a lot of people happy. Um, so that's Martin. Uh, now I'm going to go through some stuff here because there's uh, people that got in touch. So uh, Nikki, M. Nikki, uh, was dead chuffed that I mentioned, uh, you know, Vaping Vic uh, because it was the kind of videos that uh, they were looking for. Uh, so M. Nikki, I got your email and uh, thank you for your response uh, Ben Dutton uh, sent me an email uh, basically thanking me and uh, I just wanted to say thank you very much back Ben uh, Naughty Mouse where do people get their usernames from? seriously um, uh, there was oh I can't reply to that one on live um, Billy, South of Heaven, uh, it's from Musselburgh, just want to say thank you for your, your email, uh, even though you're from Musselburgh, you know, don't tend to talk to people from over that way, you know, over the water, uh, just kidding, I'm, I'm in uh, Fife, and as I look that way, uh, you have the 4th road bridge, 4th rail bridge, water, the 4th, and Musselburgh's over that way. Uh, so, hi to Billy. Um, da, ba, 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 and uh, Steve from Port Talbot in South Wales. He's basically asking for advice on what uh, mod to go for. Um, I'll give the standard response. And I'll actually mention this now because it's, it's quite a good point to mention it. I do actually have a standard responder in my email saying that if people are looking for advice on what to buy, go and check my YouTube channel, go and watch other reviews and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I, I, I tend to avoid getting into the, these discussions because that's why I do the reviews, is so that you've got information on what to go and look for and what to buy. Um, I'm not which magazine or anything like that I don't 
you know, um, I'm, I'm bumbling now. Just, just saying, you know, the information's out there. Um, just go and look in the forums and Facebook pages, see what catches your eye, see what folk are talking about, and then go and watch reviews by loads of people and make your own mind up. So that was uh, Steve from Port Talbot. Um, who else, who else, who else? Uh, oh, Privari, the new Privari. Uh, Keith and Kirsty at Vape Gear are sending me on a Privari, the new one to have a play with. So there will be a review coming up for the new Privari. How do I feel about it? Um, it's a Privari. It'll do what it says in the tin. It'll do it very well. I probably won't like it aesthetically or or using it on a daily basis because I kind of feel that way about Privaris. I can't fault them. They're they're like what BM, they're like BMW Audis of the car world years ago. You know they were pretty boring, but they were you know bloody hell. They were built well and they, you know they just did what they did. And you didn't have to worry about them. They just the, the warranties and all that just excellent. And that's the same with Pro Vape and the Privari. Um Yeah, people are going on about how it's only twenty watts. Um, the percentage of people that go over twenty watts compared to the people that don't. Man, we're, I mean, if you're going over 20 watts, you're in the minority. I mean, you're t tiny, tiny, tiny. I mean, probably they'll still sell them by the bucket loads, and they'll go to people that will never, ever probably go near 20 watts anyway. Uh, I agree with a lot of what's been said in forums and stuff. They're, they're behind it. I mean, at the bare minimum, they should have matched the DNA 30, the, the sh performance wise. They just idiots for not doing that in my opinion because then they could have picked up another market you know but now they're just limiting themselves to albeit the biggest market anyway there we go uh, so that's coming uh, 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 John Jacobs um, John Jacobs uh, <coughs> excuse me um got your email mate thank you very much and thank you which leads me on to something else you've read about this on Facebook all bloody week the last thing you need to hear about is me going on about this uh, Robin Williams um, I'm not shy or embarrassed about it or anything like that but uh, I mean I have mental health issues <laughs> so a lot of people will probably go there's a shocker. Uh, I have done for years and years. Uh, I've just spent the past year and a half back in my feet. I was out out the game for a long time. Um, I am no expert, but the things you're seeing about people saying uh, what a selfish bastard for committing suicide. Do yourself a favour. You may not be interested but go and read up on that kind of stuff. Uh, just go along to uh, any kind of site that deals with mental illness and you will get a shocker. These people that end up in those situations are... <laughs> ah, that's about all I can say. Go and read up on it because Comments like, what a selfish bastard, blah, 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 blah. Um, really. You have no idea. No idea. Anyway. Uh, there we go. And that's all I'm saying. Right? Uh, going back through, we've got... Uh, who have we got? Oh, we've got the, the Big Dripper coming. And I think I saw uh, the MacGyver of vaping. Vaping with Twisted 420. Just put a review up of it. It's the by Sub Ohm Innovations, the Big Dripper. That's coming. Uh, I just got an email to say that there's one in the way. Uh, <laughs> 
just saying hi to David Strain, who is another custard fanatic. All the good people in the world vape custard, you know that. Um, as somebody else, just uh, Alvin, Alvin Lewis was asking why I disabled my uh, comments on YouTube. I've done it for donkeys now, uh, absolutely donkeys. Why did I disable my comments on YouTube? Uh, because it's so easy for the keyboard, see, wasp out, thank you. Uh, it's so easy for idiots, uh, keyboard, hard men, warriors, all that jazz, just to type shit. Uh, so I disabled them. If you want to get in touch, send me an email, go along to my Facebook page, uh, or go along to my blog. So there's... Right, it's the custard. Wasps just come flooding in here. So yeah, there's plenty of ways to get in touch with me. Uh, just because I've disabled YouTube comments doesn't mean that I don't want to speak to folk. Uh, but I just... It, it's like a spam filter to be honest. Um, so there you go. Uh, that's that. <laughs> Can you see this? A wasp. A wasp reviewer. Uh, oh, did I... What else? Just what's turned up. The Vapor V4. Uh, with the Vapor V3 there. I did a review not long ago, uh, but uh, the V4's out and it's bottom, bottom activated. <laughs> Aye, uh, it's bottom activated, it's bottom switch and uh, there's none of this mouth activation going on, but the vape from this one is... Um, right, I've got to go to the post office, so I'll I'll be I'll be back later. Um, oh, before I go, before I go, it's here. It, possibly the. I, I, I'm, I'm possibly going to offend so many real, this is a real, uh, this is a squonking box uh, and this to me is like the, this is like the pickup truck of squonkers. It does exactly what it says in the tin. To me it's ugly as sin. Uh, it's just aluminium. Um, I hate the button. Hate the button. Um, it's 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 just it's like a tractor. It's just nothing pretty about it at all. But it just works, and you know that it'll probably still be working in fifty years. And people will be talking about their, you know, I've got my classic collection of Rios here, you know, have a look at them. And uh, there'll be fan clubs and shit like that going on because it's so bloody simple, but it's just... There's hardly nothing to it. It's it's not my cup of tea at all. Let's get that straight now. It's just not my thing at all. But I, I, I just cannot fault it in the way it performs at all and this will be my out and about squonking device now because it just it's just awesome uh, I did a deal with this for a with a very nice gentleman, uh, we'll, we'll leave it at that, who makes extremely nice e-liquid, strawberry fields in here. Um, thanks again buddy. Uh, right, so that's that, That a review will 
do you know a review for that won't be coming till October time, something like that. Um, right, go to the post office. I'll be back later, or I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Right, uh, <clears throat> back again. Before I forget, this, there'll be a review for this coming along. This is the the 454 uh, Atty, or rebuildable dripper I should say. Um, very impressed with this. Very impressed with it. That was sent on to me by Amber at Apothecar. Here. Thanks Amber. And, and Amber also sent me on a wee present. She sent me on some Science of Vaping stuff. Uh, so this is actually the Science of Vaping uh, dripper. Uh, so you've got a K-Fun base and then you've got a screw-on tank with a hole in it. Uh, you've got a top cap and that's you got a dripper. I've done reviews for a review for a K-Fun dripper before. This is I'm just another company's one, so mm, yummy. Uh, this is the I've uh, got the Seneca Seneca S. Uh, made in Korea. This was sent on to me by Frank. Thank you buddy. Uh, I'll get round to this uh, and show it off to you guys. Uh, basically it's all built in Korea. Um, it's uh, The chipset is made in Korea. Uh, the lot. Um, just to show you, I mean there's the kind of information that is given you. You've got this light up blue button. So, it's actually, it's actually, it's a good wee device to vape with. I mean, it's it's kind of tiny. It's just a single 18650 in there. Um, now, it's slightly different. I know uh, JK Vapes are selling these, but the box is kind of like white. Uh, and instead of a recess button, it's got a sticky out button, which would be one of my criticisms of this is the button. Uh, you do actually have to dig. Well you don't, but you don't have to dig. I mean I've got fat arse fingers so when I just push over the top of it like that uh, it activates but it's when you're wait for it. One, two, three, four, five. That's it locked. Uh, if I want to put the voltage up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Seven clicks for power up. Nine clicks, I think it is, for power down. That's the only pain in the ass about this thing, is the clicks. And the button doesn't click either, so that's a bit of a pain in the ass. It's not a clicky button, it's like that's it firing. There's no click at all. Um, now, I'm not entirely bothered because I change my wattage once in a blue moon. I mean, I'll set it to 11 and it'll stay there. I vape at 11 watts. I mean, that's the whole thing about variable wattage. You set it and leave it. So I'm not bothered about changing it all the time. But when you do have to change it, I will admit, it's a pain. Uh, it's possibly 10 seconds out of your life, uh, but uh, it's a pain. Have another one. So, there we go with that. Um, oh! Back in a second. <laughs> ah, back! I've got a battery in this. Don't know if I have. Let's find out. I do. This is the Anakin iTaste 134MX-Z. It's a bottom fire. It's a mechanical mod. It's a mechanical. Uh, so I've got a, my 454 on here. And that's, <laughs> that's dry. Um, right, the weird ass thing about this is. Right, it's got this ring going round here, okay? 
and you have got all you know the constellation signs, your birth signs if you like for Aries, Leo, Cancer and all that kind of stuff so right now this will not fire until I set it to my birth sign nothing put it back fire now um, it's not a bad wee performer and it comes in stainless steel as well but I have to say the thing I hate about it is when I've locked it and I'm in the car and I want to go for a vape and I want to unlock it you know I'm driving so I'm, I normally I would just unlock and go for a, a vape nothing I have to take your eyes off the road and I have to look for the bloody right symbol so there's there's 12 options there so you have to click right through them until you find your own one there we go and have another vape it's a pain in the tits um, it's funky it's typical Anakin it's just out there uh, you know Let's design a mod, guys. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> it's just fucking... <laughs> Let's get this spinny wheel. Um, <laughs> nutters. Uh, so there was that. Uh, right, uh, let's let's have a look. Is that in the box? Hello, puppy. box is looking dry. Actually, this is still lying in there. Uh, I'm waiting on an updated switch coming for this. This is the Aries by Chief Pat Vapors, Vapor Pat or whatever it is. Uh, and yeah, yeah, I still won't recommend this right now until they fix that switch. Look at that, that's fucking awful. Um, Is it locked? It's just utter shit. I hate, I hate that with a passion. I really do. It's like... It's one of these nodding dog things that you, you stick in the window. Um, but, let's say, this came to me courtesy of Schmo Vapes and they're waiting on updated switches coming in, which I believe will sort that. Just have to wait and see. Um, I was going to say that's the only thing in the box. It's not. I've still, I've got a pile of, uh, where are they? Got a pile of these things sent on. Um, what company are they from again? I've forgotten. Ola. No, or is that the name of the mod? Uh, ah, come here. Damn it, I didn't have an anal probe. Um, is that JTEC? JTEC? I think it's JTEC. Uh, anyway, they sent me on a pile of these. They come in different styles, and some of them are pretty <laughs> gaudy to say to say the least. Um, let's. They've got sc skull versions and they've got versions with girls uh, in their knickers and bra with a football because that's what attracts us guys that's that's what I want in a mod is a picture of a female in her knickers and bra holding a football uh, but that's what comes in the wee kit uh, they're actually they're not bad batteries they're 1100 milliamp hour uh, USB pass through and you get this uh, skull and bones affair going on here we've got the turn the wheel up the top and they've got their own little tank with adjustable airflow going on here there is a lot of chrome plating going on here and uh, I don't know what the heads they've got in it they, I mean they look like uh, I mean they're 1.5 ohm 
I mean they look like the new Kanga heads almost um, but for whatever reason the vapes pretty crap off of it or well I tried it with 50-50 and uh, the one I'm running upstairs uh, meh, it's alright uh, I think they're pretty cheap but so I've got a pile of them to show off and I've still got this uh, Sunfire E-Mod to show off as well uh, I have got and let's check the calendar because there's some stuff coming up that uh, Jesus Christ where is it? where is it? no, where's it going? no, no, no that's not it it's got to be in the house I put, I put a little video up and fit. Ah, come on, we can get it. Back in a sec. <laughs> Ball sacks. I was there the whole time. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll put it on this wee guy. This should be good for fun, good for a laugh. I want to put a big shout out to uh, Tim at Fortune Mods for having a wicked sense of humour. Look at the tiny wee mod. It's so small. It's the tiny Tim. Uh, it's the, tiny, the tiny Tim tube, uh, as I think it got christened. So, Fortune Mods. It's uh, tiny little batteries like that, which are 18240s. Um, so, <laughs> it's just. Actually, I'm not going to use it on there because uh, I've got quite a low resistance and I've not actually checked out what the the rating is on those batteries so um, <laughs> he says putting it on to an 18350 which probably isn't going to be any better right what was it I went in the house for a reason didn't I I was looking for something right Norbert uh, the creator of the Origin uh, Origin Genesis V1, the Origin Dripper V1 and V2. Well, this is the Origin Genesis version 2, and this thing is just yeah, it's no good in that. That was a a neuron or a neutron. I can never remember what it's called. Um, let's give it some power. Power! Uh, anyway, uh, the Origin V2 Genesis. It's... Uh, what can I say to you? It's just an incredible vape. Just think of it as the Origin Dripper, which is still possibly my favourite rebuildable dripping atomizer. It's almost like a Genesis version of that. It's, it, it's, it's just, wait until you see the deck and everything in this. It's got massive wick holes. That's the only thing I'm not 100%. Uh, it's, it's Genesis, but I've set it up with cotton. Uh, but I'll, when I do the review, I'll do it with uh, stainless steel mesh to show it off. But... It was lying on its side there, so it's a bit flooded. Um, but that's it there. Oh, oh. If you like vaping with cotton, I know it's a Genesis. Don't hate on me for this. I know it's a Genesis. But right now, in cotton setup, just think of it as the Origin Dripper with an even bigger supply of juice. I think it's 2 ml of juice. Uh, in the tank it holds. Only downside that I've come across really is the fact the tank's PMME. Um, doesn't bother me because I don't vape any tank crackers at all. Uh, but I can see that being a bit of a pisser for some folk. Um, right, uh, what else? So, we've got the Vapor V4. Uh, we've got the Garage of Creation H16 
16mm uh, Genesis atomizer to come along, the 454 dripper, a uh, pile of other reviews in between that. Uh, like the Mephesto, the Tahiti Evo by GP Custom, the Beyond Vape Silo, uh, Dominator X, the Carabine, um, what else? I, I've also got stuff coming in for the start of October already. Uh, some folk getting in touch with me. Um, see if I can find them. Uh, let's see all. There's. I've got uh, you know Wu Tang, uh, Wu Tang mods. They've got a uh, a mod coming out. I'm, it's going to be launched on the twenty second of August. So I'm going to try and get a review out for that. It's the. It's the. Tortuga. I think it's Tortuga as it's pronounced. Uh, it's a really funky looking thing. Uh, so Wu Tang. Um, it's a mechanical mod, but it's it's pretty smart. Uh, that, that was that. Sorry. Um, and guys, there's there's some other stuff uh, coming along. Let's try my Facebook page. See what messages I've got there on stuff that. Uh, Uh, bam, 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 bam. I hear it, I'll tell you what. Uh, right, uh, there's a guy asked me, I put up, uh, right, I did the reviews for the Surfrider, the 29 and uh, the big friendly mod. <laughs> um, and uh, a lad in my forum uh, did raise a valid point. Um, now I had a bit of a downer on the ox. Uh, one of my criticisms was that uh, have you even got what have you got? Have you got a toy? Can you see him here? Oh, he's away again. Uh, one of my criticisms was that that it shorted out on the top cap, and my what I said was. I think that all these hybrid top caps like this should have an insulator in there. I still think it's a good idea, but the reason that I never mentioned it on the these guys uh, is because they actually sit on an insulator down here. Things like the ox and that, uh, they didn't, they basically sat on the, the bottom of the cap. Uh, so if the battery touched the top of this, it's already making contact with the bot the negative is making contact with the button if you like, or the body, uh, so it's just kinda like shorten out. Um, but because the, the base city stuff has insulation in the bottom, it's not so much of an issue. And and that's why I never really went to town on these guys like I did with the ox. So that's my explanation on that. Uh, but it was a valid point that he raised, a very valid point. Um, I still... I said it in the reviews. Uh, the Bay City stuff is just... If you're an elitist panty hamster laddy da type guy that lives in a shed likes brass copper and uh, performing mods you have to get one because they're awesome um do you know i think that's a bit no I'll tell you what i do want to say um uh, where is it now I, I was reading this somebody sent me a link and i was i was reading it again this morning i saw it uh toronto um, it was Linda, uh, Linda Erickson sent it on. Toronto uh, Health Board, Toronto Board of Health are uh, thinking of banning the sale of e-cigs and the use of them in public. What the fuck? I, I mean, seriously? Uh, 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 the world has gone 
mad. I'm all for some form of regulation. Um, uh, regulation, uh, regulation on this kind of stuff, battery mods and things like that. Um, you know, th there's always going to be wasp. We're having words. There's always going to be ways around that and whatnot. I, I don't think anything will ever come regulating this kind of thing because it's just the same as a bloody torch. It's a battery holder, um, and regulating egos and chargers, it doesn't matter either because there's still going to be feckin' idiots out there that are going to plug it into the wrong charge point and that kind of stuff. Regulation in e-liquid, I'm all for that. Uh, let's find out exactly what's going on and let's put health safety warnings, whatever you want on it and just get on with it. You know, just get on with life and give people that option of, if they want to vape, vape. If they want to kill themselves with cigarettes, let them. But there's a healthier option out there. But banning it, banning it is just, and still allowing the sale of cigarettes at the same time. It's just nuts. I'm sorry, but you cannot kill yourself by wrapping sellotape around your throat, but you can buy a gun and kill yourself with that. You know, it's... It's a terrible analogy, but it, it's just my take on it. So for you guys in Canada just now that are getting hammered with this, uh, uh, I feel for you. I really do. Um, that's just after vape can as well. That's ah, and I wish I'd been there. Uh, right, what else? Um, Two sex. Pause. You had other stuff to mention. Uh, this post by Zen saying, "Dudes, it's okay. You can, you know, we're all right with uh, the clone ZNA thirty. You know, don't worry about it. Go for gold." the forums, and I'll probably get into shit for this, I don't care. Uh, go around the majority and, and I have a look at the forums and all the people that buy clones are like, whoa, this guy's cool as fit, you know, he's just, he's the dude, uh, because uh, he's okay with clones, so that's awesome, you know, uh, he doesn't mind if we buy a copy, you know, well, obviously he's not going to mind if you buy a copy because, you know, his mod's been out for X amount of time, he's made his money, he's, he's grabbed it. Uh, but it's just not doing this out of the kindness of his heart. No, no bloody way. Um, Ignoring... said this many times before, I've had rants about clones, okay? I have had rants about clones. I don't agree with clones, but... I don't look down my nose at anybody that's got a clone. Um, if that's a clone, that's a clone that sits there a lot, and 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 I use this quite a bit. So this was a present to me, so that's why I still have it. It was given to me by somebody, uh, and oh God, I can't even remember. So I think it was an Enzonic clone. And I've fucked about with the switch, and I've mucked about with it. And do you know, I can understand somebody buying a. I, I get the whole. Maybe buy a clone, get a rough idea of what it's like, and think, hmm, maybe I'll go for the genuine version. I get that argument, um, but don't endorse it. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't say that they're okay because they're not from the point of view that they're stealing other people's work and that's it really that's the only thing I don't like I'm not trying I swear to God I'm not trying to ram it down your throat I'm just angry that uh, a modder you know you've got all these modders round the world <laughs> uh, that are fighting for their business um, and you know 
I know for a fact that there's businesses out there that are suffering from clones. They are. That's a fact. Uh, people that are selling clones are okay, but people that are selling genuines only are suffering. Um, you know, they, they support the guys that are coming up with the ideas. Support the guys that are, you know, sitting in their sheds and building shit and trying to sell it to you. Um, ah, I'll shut up because I just... I'm getting my knickers in a twist here. I'm getting my knickers in the twist. Just put yourself in the position of a mod maker. If you have the ability to do that, if you can empathise with somebody, you know, put yourself in their shoes just for five minutes and think about the costs involved. And that's it. That's all I'm trying to say. Uh, go about your business. You do what you like. I have no say over what goes on in the world. Uh, it's none of my bloody business at all. All I'm saying is just put yourself in their shoes for five minutes and have a wee think about it. And as I get older, I realise that I'm getting more like my dad. And that bothers me. I never used to be this grumpy. I, I really wasn't this grumpy before. Um, oh, did I, did I show you this? Um, other science of vaping uh, toy. Science of vaping. Uh, this is that eats a teeny weeny tank. Uh, this is absolutely tiny for a K-Fun, K-Fun base. Science of vaping top cap uh, and tank. Science of vaping drip tip there. And you get about two, two and a half mils in there. It, it does give a, a much more intense vape flavour, warmer, uh, because it's a smaller tank, and I really like that about it. Um, two mils will... Uh, nah, it won't get me through the day, but... Uh, and it's not hard to fill up either. It fills up like a normal k uh, So, good wee bit of kit. Science of vaping, go and check them out. Um, this is a... That was a present to me, it wasn't for review or anything, I'm just telling you about it, it's a present. Uh, right, I've moaned, I've griped, I've groaned. Um, and I think that's about it. I think it's about time that I went. Uh, I think I'll get myself set up. I'm going to go out walk about and uh, find something interesting to do. So for this, I will need an inconspicuous setup. A little bit of stealth vaping, nobody will look at me, so I'm going to go out with this. If I don't make it in one piece, it's because I've been jumped and attacked and I'm in a jail cell for... <sighs> really, I mean, what would you say if somebody stops and asks you what that is? There we go, we're cooking my gas now. Um, guys, be one more blog to come next week and uh, that'll be it for a month or so. Um, thank you to all the people that have been emailing. Um, ah, you know the drill. It's super, it's good to have you here in my shed. Um, and that's it. That's that, that, that definitely it. Oh, oh. In September, uh, I'm going to be doing, and I mentioned this already, another charity raffle. There is a shitload of stuff to go out. Uh, a lot of expensive stuff to go out. Um, some top end gear in this raffle. Uh, and uh, fingers crossed, touch wood, uh, we raise a lot of money. Uh, I'm thinking of going for. I don't know, I really don't know about charity wise. Don't write in and suggest a charity, please don't. Um, I think I've done enough in the animals, done the help for heroes, cancer and whatnot. Um, I think they're going back for, and this, yeah, it's personal to me, um, is the mental health thing again. Um, 
maybe, well it's not mental health, but maybe Alzheimer's, um, bipolar, I know there's a good couple of good charities for that, uh, there's a lot of good charities that out there that are doing a, really helpful stuff, uh, but uh, right, anyway, I'm away, what a blethering bobag I am, have a good weekend, see you next week.